when you have followed my channel you know that I was busy with a water bath made for photographic purposes and it had to be stable on approximately 38 degrees Celsius. And here are the first experiments. Everything of course uh, not very clear to see what happens ev everywhere but anyway. Uh, two sensors that I made. I tried at first to make sensors with the 1N4007 silicon diode. Uh, it can work and uh, I've made in the circuit of uh, uh, in the past a circuit where it worked but anyway I don't want to go to this setup with a silicon diode because silicon the silicon material is not very sensitive to temperature changes anyway when I say not very sensitive I mean that there is a certain temperature band where a silicon diode can change its properties uh, regarding say the collector emitter uh, resistance and thus via a resistor circuit the voltage but anyway. More important is that I found that the old school germanium transistor has very very good properties uh, when you want to use it as a temperature dependent resistor and the schematic is here. A lot to tell about this circuit. I made two experiments. I tried to test a germanium transistor on its properties regarding uh, temperature sensitivity and of course we know and when you are a little bit acquainted with electronics you surely know that germanium transistors in the 1960s 1970s were very sensitive to temperature changes and then especially when the temperature of a germanium transistor got too hot there was a kind of of thermal run out. So the whole amplifier could get in a worst case scenario be destroyed. And of course um, many say uh, protective measures were used in those days. Uh, heat uh, dependent uh, resistors that had to limit the maximum current that could flow between the collector and the emitter of the germanium transistor etc etc. When you study germanium circuits out of the 1960s, 90s, early 1970s you will find all these things anyway. Um, that's why I made this, not that but uh, I wanted to make a say a sensitive temperature changing uh, resistor and that can be made with the help of that germanium transistor. And here there is in this copper tube a germanium transistor, it is the AC187. It's connected in a way that I will show in the schematic and when the water is hot it switches to a very low voltage and when the water is cold here cold water it switches to a voltage in the range of approximately 4 volts. And you, when you study say uh, circuits on the World Wide Web uh, you can see this circuit in its principle. Here are the pin connections of the used transistors. You can see this circuit because a germanium transistor is extremely sensitive 
to temperature changes but I also found in the 1980s books on worldradiohistory.com uh, this circuit and it was not made with a germanium transistor but uh, a silicon transistor I've tested the BD139 NPN silicon transistor and in that original circuit that I found on the World Wide Web they used the BC547 uh, in general I'm more or less sure that in general the voltage change when you heat up a silicon transistor is not so big compared to the germanium transistor so when you want to make a sensitive um, temperature sensor find somewhere on the world wide web a germanium transistor can be any a germanium transistor that's my opinion at least say the AC187 is a good choice and all say uh, other germanium transistors that have the same properties so again about the uh, silicon transistor circuit the voltage changes in the range of 0 to 1 volt here when you heat up the gem, uh, sorry the silicon transistor be it a BD139 or any silicon transistor because I can say any uh, silicon transistor because uh, uh, silicon transistors have say certain properties in terms of physics and these properties are the same for all kinds of silicon transistors so I've used here the BD-129 that is of course say uh, high quality medium power NPN transistor um, but say uh, you can also use other NPN silicon transistors for this aim and be sure that you only find here a voltage a difference or a voltage drop between 0 and 1 volts that doesn't mean that it is not usable of course you can drive a um, comparator circuit comparator circuit say a 741 op amp or a TL071 op amp uh, to make this work so that the uh, op amp switches at its output when the silicon transistor gets too warm but uh, in my opinion this is the better circuit it is that uh, germanium transistor when it heats up there is a much higher voltage a drop or uh, not a voltage drop but uh, voltage going up from 0 to 4 volts etc etc so well small demo about the silicon transistor circuit how you can make it the 470k potentiometer the silicon transistor uh, you can see in the schematic that the collector and the base are soldered together here is a 1k protective resistor and this is a 470k potentiometer and then you can set the right working point regarding to the temperature uh, you have to set the uh, voltage to that circuit first with the help of that 470k potentiometer so this is the silicium setup here is the again the uh, germanium setup 
that's more successful anyway let me show how it works this is the hot this is that sensor that I made copper tube uh, inside there is that AC187 uh, transistor germanium transistor can be any other other germanium transistor and you can see that the voltage drops to more or less zero when that uh, germanium transistor inside this tube gets very hot and now I immerse that in the cold water so this is cold let's see what happens and you can surely see that the voltage goes up so such a germanium transistor is extremely sensitive to uh, temperature changes that was also a problem in the 1960s and that's also the reason why uh, now at the moment since the night since the medium 1980s germanium transistors were not used any longer perhaps in special uh, electronic circuits but anyway so you see a drop here from 4 volts now in the hot water Let's see what happens and of course there are all kinds of say uh, things to tell regarding say um, how good copper um, conducts the warmth the temperature to the transistor etc etc but anyway I think this is a quite good setup to make a temperature sensor say a thermostat uh, that can say uh, rain a certain temperature uh, in whatever kind of uh, uh, situation schematic again thanks for watching two experiments one with a uh, germanium transistor one with a silicon transistor they both work though uh, important to tell that this differs for the silicon transistor the base is here collect sorry the base is connected to the collector and for the germanium transistor the base is connected to the emitter that's in a certain way important this is a protective resistor so that the current can get too high damaging say the transistor say the temperature sensitive uh, element and again uh, the germanium transistor gives an enormous voltage change when it is heated up or cooled down and uh, this is of course say one of the electronics basics uh, when you are working with electronics you need to know say that germanium transistors are extremely sensitive for temperature changes etc again thanks for watching